All right, guys, this is going to be kind of a shaky one. But this is Mr. Marley. This is the process of pulling him out and getting him comfortable with me. Sometimes he's a little bit of a jerk, but he's pretty cool. And he is a red iguana, which is technically a green iguana, but they just it's a red morph almost. I don't know if you can see his belly's green, but his back is red. He's trying to climb up me right now. He's kind of a turd. Let's see if he'll climb up there. He's pretty cool. I just need to do a lot of socializing with him. He's probably one of the more um, advanced reptiles I have. But they're super intelligent. They're doing more research, finding that they can build bonds and stuff. So that's pretty cool. He's just kind of chilling. Can't get him to turn around because I got the phone, but there he goes. What's up, Marley? Um, I'll have to look it up, but I think they can recognize, like, their name. And he's just exploring. The cat will sit by his cage sometimes and he will whip his tail. He's got a really long tail. It's probably almost the length of my arm. But when he gets big, that can be a really useful tool of telling humans and animals to back off. So whip you so hard. And that's his favorite thing to do. Um, when my friend Molly comes over, all he does is sits on top of her head, so they're little homies. But, let's see if, yep, he's crawling up there. I just always worry that he might poop on my head, but he never has. Yeah. And then, right now, um, his head is shedding, but you can still kind of see that blue hue, I think. I'm trying to get better angle on him. And he has a bright blue head when it's when it's not full of shed. But I think he's pretty cool. Come on, Let's see if I can pick him up and show you guys his belly. his favorite spot in the world. He seems to love there. So, sorry if I'm bumping the camera. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see the star of the show, obviously. Come here, dude. Come on. One sec, baby. Oh, now he's hanging down. He's a little spicy today. I need to pull him out more and work with him, but we work four tens, which seems like a really nice schedule, but when you're taking care of an iguana, it's a lot of work. Definitely not for the faint of heart. I have to change his vegetables out every day so that he can eat the best diet that he can. Um, I have to pull him out as much as I can um, just so he doesn't get super defensive with people. He still kind of is, but I'm working with him. And he's not as flighty as I've seen some other ones, so. Sorry if it's super shaky. And he does this, like, little head turn thing. It's kind of funny. Marley. And then when he walks around, he'll bob down and lick. He's just smelling his way around, tasting everything, making sure it's okay. But if you look at that little side stare. Oh no, he wants to be cute. He's shy. Who's that, dude? You guys think he can see himself? That would be kind of cool, huh? 
see yourself, dude? I think he might. Super cool. I'm glad I got to get a pretty good close-up of him for you guys. It's a little shaky, but that's all right. And while we're here, I can show you guys. Are you going to hop up there? Not now that I say it, of course. Come here. Come here, Marley. He gets kind of stuck sometimes because he's got super sharp claws. He does have the ability to let go. Oh, and he just, <laughs> he jumped from one arm to the other. He kind of does that. But if you see that decorative scale, I watched a video the other day. So I'm still trying to educate myself more. But that means he's a male. And then there's two little bulges underneath. And that helps tell you if they're a male as well. And then if you look at those little holes, those are his ears above the decorative scale. He's gonna jump. Oh no. He's trying to like the That is awesome. I did not expect to have that cool of a video. Don't get mad because my phone's dirty. That was cute and you know it. He's pretty awesome. But yeah, I think he's probably one of the more, he's one of the more difficult animals I have, but he's definitely worth it because they're really, really smart. There he goes back to his favorite spot. And I don't have a size on him either. I'll have to get a measurement for you guys. But that tail is pretty long. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell. And peace out.